what's up? It's your boy Kayvon, the most famous half Persian comedian kid in the world. And I love cereal. And I'm not the only one. You love cereal. But who loves cereal the most? Joe Biden. That's right. Just a few months back, Cereal Lovers of America held a Joe Biden rally. And nobody attended it. Because that's how all of Joe Biden's rallies were. In fact, whenever kids get in trouble, their parents can start yelling at them this way. You behave, or you're going to have a little Joe Biden rally in the corner by yourself. <laughs> Well, that's too bad, young man. You should have thought of that before. So, when I heard there was a Joe Biden rally for cereal lovers, I couldn't help but think, what does Joe Biden have to do with cereal? And what kind of cereal does Joe Biden even like? Well, think about it no more. I have compiled a list of Joe Biden's favorite breakfast foods. These are the four Biden meals to eat every morning before you go run a half-ass election. <laughs> Check it out. We all saw this one going around online, Faker Vote, which actually got me thinking, there's gotta be more. So I came up with this one, Cheetos. There goes Biden flying around the country, sweetening up the ballot boxes. Now, which one would you rather have in the morning? Faker Votes or Cheetos? Why stop there? There's also Cheaties, breakfast of fake champions. I'm not sure if any cheating occurred. All I'm saying is this is raising questions with two helpings of fake votes. What about election tricks? Whoa, silly oh. rabbit. Elections are for the living. We've all seen Nancy Pelosi and what she does to our important documents like the State of the Union Address. Check it out. In an extraordinary act of defiance, Nancy Pelosi made clear what she thought of the speech. Which leads me to believe her favorite breakfast is Shreddies. This can go on all day. What about Crookey Crisp? My favorite part of this one is, it looks like Biden's about to get away. Trump's trying to catch him, but look who's holding him back. That little dog. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> All I can say, if anyone gets caught for this scam, it's gonna be life. Now this was one of the most puzzling press conferences of Biden's campaign. It's where he told a group of black kids at the old pool that he used to lifeguard at, that he almost got in a fight with a black gangster named Corn Pop just a few decades earlier. Check it out. This was the diving board area, and I was one of the guards, and there were a lot of, there was a three meter board. And you fell off sideways, you landed on the damp, uh, the darn cement over there. <laughs> and Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. And I said, hey Esther, you, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off. And he said, I'll meet you outside. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. There was a guy named Bill Wright, Mouse, the only white guy, and he did all the pools. He was the mechanic. And I said, what am I going to do? He said, come down here in the basement where the mechanics, where, where, where all the pool f f filter is. You know the chain? There used to be a chain that went across the deep end. And he cut off a six-foot length of chain. He folded up. He said, you walk out with that chain. And you walk to the car and say, you may cut me, man, but I'm going to wrap this chain around your head. Why would you say that? I said, you kidding me. He said, no, if you don't, don't come back. And he was right. So I walked out with the chain. And I walked up to my car. And they had, they, in those days, you used to remember the straight race. You'd bang them on the curb, get them rusty, put them in a rain barrel, get them rusty. And I looked at them, but I was smart then. I said, first of all, I said, when I tell you to get off the board, you get off the board, and I'll kick you out again, but I shouldn't have called you, Esther Williams. I apologize for that. I apologize, but I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that, not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor, and my heart began to beat again. Come on, man. Instigating racial violence once again. Corn pops. It's for bad dudes. Come on, man. I got a question for you. If Uncle Ben didn't vote for Biden, does that mean he's no longer black? Hey, speaking of raising questions, what about how close Biden gets to women, young girls, and other people's wives? Check it out. Biden took a question from a little girl. He said this. I'll bet you're as bright as you're good looking. I tell you. <laughs> what was that? Why is he telling a little child that she's good looking? She's well, 10. Wait, but then it's the hands well, on. Oh, wait, yeah, then he wasn't finished. Bro. <laughs> Speaker Nancy Pelosi today advised former Vice President Joe Biden to keep his distance after two women accused him of touching them inappropriately.
Pelosi added that none of this disqualifies Mr. Biden. You like that? But she did suggest that he join her in what she called the straight arm club, keeping at least this much distance between himself and colleagues and supporters so that there are no awkward moments. He was talking to me while he was rubbing my nose with his. It is a big part of who he is, that he hugs people and connects with people and talks to people. Coons insisted his daughter was not disturbed by this televised nuzzle from former Vice President Joe Biden in 2015. And Joe, who knows her, leaned forward and whispered some encouragement, telling her that she was doing great, that she looked wonderful. Great, that she looked wonderful. Biden's intimate style is now taking a toll. There's a cereal for that. Forget honey smacks. How about unwelcome? smacks and he uses the same line over and over girls this week, you got one job my father used to say for real keep your boys away from your sister <laughs> job. just remember no serious guys in your 30s is this your sister you have a hard job you got to keep the boys away from your sister that's a deal hey jasper you're gonna have a hard job keeping the boys away from your sister <laughs> and over. Like you have a beautiful sister, and keep the boys away from your sister. <laughs> That's the job. My dad used to say one job, keep the guys away from your sister. My dad used to say you got one job. I have a beautiful sister like you guys. I swear to God, he used to say you have one job, keep the guys away from your sister. <laughs> You're in trouble. Biden only has a handful of political lines he uses. Collect all five. How you come over to my side. You come over to side. I want you next to me. How you next to me. Oh, yeah, this is, you come over to this side. Oh, this yeah, come over to this side. Okay? Come on, sis. You get okay, right everybody. in the middle of me. You get right over here. Over here. Mom, you can wait till it's come on, Dad. Okay, here you go. You have very good taste. Good to Thank see you, man. You have very good taste. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you've got very good taste like your father. Over and over. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I have very good taste. <laughs> These have a good taste. You're getting too old. You're getting too old and too lovely. How old are you? Uh, 28. 28? <laughs> 26. 26. I thought they were still in school. Well, I'll tell you what. When you act like that, it's no doubt your favorite cereal is Sniffin's. <laughs> well, that's all for now. If you liked my video, great. Subscribe on my YouTube, my Parlor, and my Instagram. If you hated it, call everyone in the comments a Nazi and Hitler. Then we know which side you're on. Also, be sure to go on my website, KVON. TV. If you pick up an item, it helps pay for the editing and all the work that goes into making these hilarious videos. Other than that, I'm going to do one more cereal and I got to go to bed, just like our next president might do as well. It's time for some Sleepy Joes. Good night, everybody. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn that, 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 that 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 girl that that turn uh, uh um blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again they look at it so i learned about roaches i learned about kids jumping on my lap and i've loved kids jumping on my lap I don't want it to be my president.